Hey, Brick Addicts. I've been hired to drive the Maersk truck today. We're gonna to talk about Lego and Lego Maersk. The colors, medium azure, Maersk blue. I'm gonna be explaining the color differences. If you love the Lego Maersk train set, the ships, you're gonna like this. So we're gonna talk our custom set, gonna give a few shout outs, Lego sets, you name it. We're gonna talk about it. Prices, a little bit of everything. You picked the perfect day to be here. If you were in to Lego Maersk, you're at the right place. I think, I think you're going to enjoy, enjoy this. What I'm going to show you guys today is a little bit of everything having to do with Maersk, which is personally, well, it's in the top five of my uh, absolute favorite Lego sets. Probably is yours too if you're an avid collector. Um, what we've done, we've taken Maersk to an all-new level. If you're like us here, Maersk Lego sets are one of your absolute favorites. Uh, they're certainly some of the most popular. They're certainly some of the most expensive Lego sets. The uh, Lego train set, brand new. I think it's up around four or five, maybe $600 right now, depending on when you're watching this video. So. What we've done here is we've tried to uh, kind of explore Maersk a little bit more and um, we've got a Maersk caboose that we did. It's got kind of a restaurant type layout in it. And then uh, we've got the next one here, which actually I'll tell you how we stumbled upon doing the, uh, this particular rail car. When we sell, when we sell this, we power it. So every locomotive that goes out of here is powered, which I might do a video on powering this actually. But so the first time I powered a Maersk locomotive, I took the engine out. Of course the engine's fake, right? So didn't know what to do with it. I didn't want to not do anything with it. I didn't want to necessarily let it go with the set since the customer preferred it to be powered anyway. So, I told the uh, designers to whip up a little rail car for it. And uh, it's worked out nice. So we got a rail car engine on it. And um, we, uh, that, that was a pretty successful product. So we ended up taking that further and doing another Maersk rail car. Yellow and blue make a good match. So we threw, uh, threw some um, rails on the, uh, on one of the rail cars and some boxes. Of course, I'm sure these look familiar. These are from the Mare ship. And we've had quite a bit of success with these actually. We got two more. So the two you're looking at, uh, one is actually the uh, Maersk ship engine and um, it's taken out of the E-series ship. We've got a couple variations of it. And then we've got the um, The other one here, it's also got an engine and it's got a crane on it. We wanted to get really super creative around here in the way of ships. So I don't know if you can recognize this one or not, but this is actually the City Lines ship right here. And um, I got a little bit creative or destructive, however you want to look at it one day and decided to order some uh, Maersk blue paint, which you can get on eBay. I'll put the link below and um, I painted the ship. So painted the, uh, the city line ship and actually it sat like that for a long time. So um, it sat with just the shell painted with nothing on it. And just last week we decided to go ahead and mess with it and figure something else out to do. So. We thought, okay, well, what can we do fast for this video? So we ended up taking everything off of the 2004 5 ship, popping it off, sticking it on here. So essentially, that is what that is. I'm not sure if this is going to go to market or not, but uh, it's a start anyway. So we might, if, uh, if there's a demand for it, we might do something with this particular ship. And of course, it's called the MS Rapid, the Motor Ship Rapid, of course, after Rapid Retail Dave. We thought about calling it MS Brick, but 
decided not to. So had Hillary print up a uh, huge, probably the biggest mare sticker we've ever done. Mare's Klein for the side. And uh, there you have it. There's the Mare's Sealand ship. This is one of the next little uh, custom things that I love. Simple Maersk box truck, but the box is removable. So you can stick anything on there that you want. Fits perfect. And um, of course, it's, uh, it's kind of similar to the actual Maersk truck. But uh, drivers tell me it, it handles easier because it doesn't have the, uh, the front and, and separate sections. So we want to scale that up, right? Where do you go from there? You bring in the rig, this big Maersk rig. Now, if you compare this to this one or this one, this is a monster. It's an absolute beast. Of course, holds two containers, both removable, and you can even play with the uh, the layout and the design of these a little bit. Uh, when I told the designers to make some kind of rig, I I told them to uh, kind of model it after the Lego truck, the yellow Lego truck. So it's a little bit similar to that. Showing you the custom stuff, I want to show you something that some of you know about and some people have no idea about. But actually. There's a couple of different colors. You've got the Maersk Blue that's insanely expensive. And what we use on a lot of our custom sets is Medium Azure. One of the big differences between the two, the Maersk Blue, which is this color here, it's the original color that comes with the uh, train set. That's entirely Maersk Blue. Those pieces are insanely expensive. So, in fact, just this piece alone right here on eBay some people are selling this for up to I think 20 bucks a piece anywhere from 10 to 20 you'd be lucky to get it cheaper than that just for that piece so that's the uh, the actual train set colors right here so this is also the same colors as the 2004 2005 Lego mare ship that came out now, the E-Line series ship is done in this color right here, which is medium azure, A-Z-U-R-E. The Maersk E-Line series is done in medium azure, which personally I find to be a more uh, vibrant color. I certainly prefer it. So we made a conscious decision when we started doing the, uh, the custom sets to go ahead and go with the medium azure color, you know, just a huge difference in in the look of it. So one thing we do here is we print the mare sticker sheets. So these are the stickers that go with the train set. And um, the reason we started doing this is we realized you couldn't get a mare sticker sheet for the train set for less than about 30 bucks. In my opinion, 30 bucks is pretty insane for a sticker sheet. So we um, started printing them ourselves. In fact, we got a uh, pretty nice commercial printer to start doing these. And um, these have been pretty successful. So they match the, uh, the actual mare stickers pretty good. We will definitely save you money if you're wanting a mare sticker sheet. If you've got any questions at all about anything Lego Maersk, you know who to come to. Comment below, send us an email, anything. I know there's a lot of um, Lego buffs out there who uh, probably have an opinion on this, so I'd like to know your opinion. You know, the, the big difference, of course, with the Lego ships is scale. The 2004-2005 LEGO ship is modeled differently than the E-Series as far as scale. Uh, it's modeled, of course, for the containers and the bridge to seem bigger, whereas the E-Series shrinks everything down. 
course they do that um, and it gives them the ability to make it look like there's more containers on board. So uh, we took this particular design from the 2004-2005 ship and um, now if we modeled this after an E-Series, this thing would be massive. And since we get asked all the time about our other custom sets, we figured we'd give you guys a look at our sticker sheets, some of our arcades. We probably got one, if not the largest LEGO facility other than maybe LEGO itself, consisting of three buildings. And with the weekly purchase anywhere from one to $4,000 in LEGO parts, we probably got about more LEGO pieces than anyone on the planet. Our little restaurants are world famous. I think now we're up to uh, maybe about 16 restaurants. And of course we uh, are a huge, huge dealer of new Lego sets. We get a little bit of everything as far as custom sets. The Lego store. Pones of the Creator modular sets. A lot of vintage stuff, a lot of brand new stuff, a lot of Technic stuff, a lot of city stuff, a lot of the uh, airplanes, to rare Lego sets. We've got sticker sheets for all of our restaurant sets. Nevertheless, please comment below. Let me know what you think about Lego Maersk. Let me know if that is your favorite type of Lego set and uh, product that Lego makes. And of course, let me know what you think of our designs and our products. We're here to please, we're here to build stuff that you guys like. So be sure to comment below, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video. I hope you loved that as much as I did. I hope you learned a few things. Be sure to comment below, be sure to like the video. And be sure to subscribe. We get better and better with our videos all the time. And there's going to be tons more cool stuff coming your way. We'll see you soon, Break Addicts. Have a good one. I got deliveries to make.